Good day, students. I welcome you to, again to this multimedia tutorial class for SS1. I am Akimbo Hiwa Emmanuel. Before I proceed, I believe you all are all taking safety precautions and you all are following the guidelines according to the stipulated rules and regulations from the government concerning this pandemic period. I will implore you all to stay safe, stay out of our way, sit at home, make further research, read your book, and let's see what the future holds for you and for me. Once again, I am Akimbo Iwa Emmanuel. You all know me for that. And I will be your ICP guide for this brief lecture. Now, for the past weeks now, we've been discussing various topics online concerning uh, subjects, information and communication technology, or data work or data processing. Now, today, we will be something totally different because we are going to be considering a new topic entirely. Now, the topic we are going to be considering today is word processing or word processor. Word processing or word processor. Our lesson objective for today. I expect you to know what is word processing, or you should understand, or you should be able to say something on word processing. Two, state examples of word processor. Then three, state the function of a word processor. Those are some of the objectives I need you to have at the back of your mind and you should know them at the end of this brief lecture. Remember we are dealing with word processing slash word processor. Now what we'll talk about word processing. You all are familiar with processing, processing, word, word, word processing. Some of us are not familiar with data or data word processing. Now I've tried to make sure this video is as simple as possible for you to have clean, for you to understand the essence of this class. Now when we talk about word processing, this is a production, storage, and manipulation of word objects on a computer or word processor. It can also be defined as a computerized means of typing and editing a document or texting work equipment. Now, what we'll talk about word processing, basically a computerized way of typing a document is what we call word processing. The ability to use computer to develop documents, to type memos, books, resume, CV, letter, and two many other forms of word document. It is all called word, word, word processing. So we simply say a computerized means of typing a word, a document. A computerized way of what, of typing a word, of typing a document is what we call word processing. Definitely. What processing and what processor are not the same, though they are similar, but take note they are not the same. But for now, we are considering word processing, a computerized medium, a computerized way of what of generating the word a document using the word the computer. And what is word processor? Word processor sometimes abbreviated as WP. Word processor. Sometimes we call it WP. It is a software program that is capable of creating, storing, and creating typed documents. Now, when we talk about word processor, what we are simply saying is we use 
word processor or word processing. Now, let's make it simple for ourselves. When you're typing on the computer, you're typing, you're typing, you're doing word processing. Now, that particular program you are using to type a document is what we call a word processor. So the act of using the word processor to arrange documents is what we call word processing. I repeat again, when you are typing some documents on your word on your computer, you are typing documents, you are reading memos, you are typing books, you are typing resumes, you are typing letters on your word on your computer, you are doing what we call word, word, word processing. Now that particular program in code, that particular program, e.g. Microsoft Word in code, is a word processor. So word processor and word processor, they are to go side by word, side by side. A word processor is a device or a computer program that provides for input, editing, formatting, and output of text, often with some additional word features. Now what we are trying to say in essence is, the programs that we use to generate word processing is what we call word processor. So we cannot do word processor without word processing. And we cannot do word processing without a word processor. It's as if I cannot work without my leg. If I don't have a leg, my legs are not intact, I cannot work. Now what I'm trying to say is work, working. The two has to go work simultaneously, work simultaneously. So what processor and what processing are not the same for the work and in and. Now, what are the functions of the word processor? Now that we know that we use word processor to type document. Number one, creating, editing, saving, and printing of word documents. Now, what we are saying, one of the functions of word processor is must be able to create, must be able to edit, save, and print a word, a document. That is one of the major functions of the word word of the word. So in what you can call a particular program in word processor, it must be able to create, edit, save, and print out what a document. Two, copying, pasting, moving, and deleting text within a word a document. Before you can go to a program as a word processor, it must be able to copy, cut, paste, move, and delete a word, a text or sentences within a word, within a document. Another one is before you can call a program a word processor, it must be able to format. When we talk about formatting, we simply mean adding effects like bold, underline, italic, and so many other words, so many other things to the word, to the word, to the content of the word of a document, or to the text rather. So a word processor must be able to format a word, a document, change the space, increase the size, Move the text from one place to one to another. It's a word processor must be able to achieve that. Two, a word processor must be able to create an edit table. We all know table is the intersection of rows and what rows and columns. A word processor must be able to do what must be able to do that. Take note, your Excel is not a word processor. Your Excel is a spreadsheet application. Excel is not a word processor, though it consists of cells, rows and what rows and columns. But it is not a word, a word processor. Five, every word processor must be able to insert elements from another software. What we are trying to say, a word processor must be able to import other programs, pictures, or other files from one software to what to what into itself that is they should be able to import what import other files from another word from another source then also a word person must have the ability to correct and spell check what errors like we all know when you're typing in your microsoft word you have the red lines and you have the green lines you want the other so one of them signifies the spelling error one of them is the grammatical word error a word processor must be able to make corrections. 
must be able to differentiate between all these. All these functions you mentioned, if your program cannot do that, that is if your program is not a word processor. Those are some of the functions of a word processor. Then what are the types of a word processor? Now that we know what is word processor is all about, we now have types or examples. Then use the word. Now we have AB word. We have Apple iWork page. We have Corel Word Perfect. We have Google Doc. We have Libra Office. We have Microsoft Office, which is quite common. We have Notepad. We have WordPad. We have Open Office. We have Perfect Writer. All these are examples of a word processor. All these are examples of programs we can use to type a document. All these are examples of programs we can use to create a word, to create a document. There are more than this, but these are just 10. The common one here is Microsoft Word. We see our page maker as an advanced word processing program. You see how more, these are just 10 out of the, out of the few programs we can to do word processing, to type word document. Then what are the uses of a word processor? What do we use a word processor for? Number one, books. To write book. To write what? Book. Two, documents. Any text that require what? Formatting, you don't call the word a document. Any text that require formatting is what we refer to as a document. Three, journals. Journal. Keep a digital version of your daily, weekly, or monthly work journals. What person was able to do what to do with that? Letters. Write a letter to one or more people. Mail match could also be used to automatically fill in the name, address, and other field of the work of the letter. Mail match is one of the important features. Majority of we or the so called people who use Microsoft Word still to know. It's a very powerful command. The word person should use the word to write letters to match them. And take note what kind of mail match, you can try typing a, a letter and sending to different words to different. Recipient. Another, another use or use of the word processor is memo. The word processor must to put a memo. Don't call memo as in short letters. The word processor must be able to put a report, either comprehensive enough or not comprehensive, either detailed enough or not detailed enough. Must be to put a word a report. Resume. The word processor must be able to put the word a resume. Must be able to maintain the word a resume. Must be able to create the word a CV curriculum or curriculum party. Where you combine different text, different sentences together to build your word, your profile. Tell us about your word, about yourself. So the uses of what processor cannot be what cannot be over exhausted. There are lots and lots of uses of what of the word person. Everything around us now in computer, you must know how to use at least one or two word person. I think in primary one or basic one, basic two, we teach them the the the, 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 the rudiment of the word person, we teach them the note part and the word and the word part, how to highlight, how to bold, how to center, how to justify, how to add bullets and what numbering, how to add text color, how to add background color, how to change the font base, how to change the font to the font size. Every word processor must be able to do all this. Then the conclusion, why there are many different, why there are many differences between the various word processor applications, they are all accomplished pretty much the same word, the same thing. Now, in essence, what we're trying to say in, in conclusion is all what person looks alike, they do the same thing, and likewise, they are what they are.
probably because they came from the same manufacturer or probably because of what the fashions like mood part and mood part are similar but they're not what they're not the same thing now what we're trying to say is the work also is an important work so what software every computer literate every individual will have a basic knowledge of the word processor you have a basic knowledge of what a word processor or a word processing program can work can do so what we are trying to say is a word processor is a program that we use to create a word a document so therefore we can simply say we use what processor to do what processing when you are typing your documents you are typing letters you are working on your keyboard typing memos typing journal typing books out there you are doing what we call word processing now that particular program you are using to type to quote that book to quote that memo is what we call the word processor as simple as that so word processing and word processor go side by side with each other now you want to go online go to your google get more information make further research for me on what is word processing and tell me some differences or get to know some differences between a word processing and a word processor i get you there are a lot of what of differences between them word processing and word processor if you need further questions or further clarity on this you can send a message to me directly on the WhatsApp platform, or you contact me through your school portal by sending me a message, or you can call my line. I will be willing and ready to do what to assist. Or you can go online and place in your questions. And I believe Google or your axe.com or your mama.com will give you an answer to your questions. Once again, I am Akimbo Yura Emmanuel. I will employ you to stay safe. Keep putting your notes. Don't play too much. Remember, soon we are coming back to work to school to enjoy how we do it in school. My name is Akimbo Yura Emmanuel. Enjoy your day.